So it looks like minting meta is finally back in the market. Now, although we've been making all kinds of gains in the secondary with these latest calls that we've been doing on this channel, check out the last videos if you haven't already. Even though we've been making all kinds of gains, I feel like I want to give you guys an opportunity to catch these projects early before they mint out, to get on that whitelist on that Discord, do what you need to do to be there during minting day. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about three projects that haven't even minted yet where I think we're fairly early on, and they have high potential for a 2, 3, or even a 4x. All this, of course, on your latest edition of Have You Met Machi, here on the Digit channel. So like I said, three projects that haven't even minted yet that we're going to be catching early where I think are going to give us a lot of returns. First on the list is going to be Creature Chronicles, minting October 2nd. Three big things from this is that it's going to be a community-driven project. It's going to be led by a dolphin entertainment business that is currently being traded on the NASDAQ under DLPN. And we'll look into that stock very shortly. And the last thing that's huge about this is the artist. They have a visionary artist named at ArtAF. Now looking at his Twitter, it's clearly a dude that knows what he's doing when it comes down to art. He was the former Marvel Studios senior visual development artist. And scrolling through his Twitter, you can see that he's got high connections here with the Marvel Studio brand. He's retweeting a lot of things both in the NFT world and Marvel Studios, things that are being announced. So I like what I'm seeing when it comes down to this artist. Clearly, he knows what he's doing. So that gets a check mark in my opinion. Now, because Dolphin Entertainment's a publicly traded stock, it's very important that you look at its whole chart. Now, looking at this chart, it looks very similar to what we're seeing throughout this whole bear market. But what's important to keep in mind is we don't know necessarily how they allocated their funds. So because the chart's looking the way it is, even though it's a bear market, we can somewhat give it a pass. But nonetheless, just be cautious that there's probably a lot of things we don't know about this whole stock and this business in general. So artists is bullish. Company in general, not so much. So currently, Creature Chronicles does have an NFT out in the secondary market where it's a whitelist NFT opportunity, similar to how Tubes allows you to mint the Utes. These NFTs allow you to mint the Creature Chronicles. And the total supply is going to be 7,777. That's October 2nd, a couple days away, where it's going to be a mint price at 2 Solana. So my final thoughts on Creature Chronicles is that I'm very bullish on the narrative behind these NFT collections as they come out. And the narrative behind Creature Chronicles is looking pretty good. There's two big narratives behind this NFT collection. And one of them is going to be that you have a publicly traded company that's behind this NFT collection. Which is something you don't see a lot. Now although the chart looks like complete crap. And we don't know necessarily how the funds are doing behind that company and whatnot. People in the NFT market in my opinion don't look at stuff like that. And the second they see a stock company behind this NFT collection. Immediately they're going to grab some hopium. They're going to jump into the NFT project during that mint price. Another bullish narrative is the artist who's got a major following on Instagram and is tied into the whole Marvel universe. That right there alone is going to drive this price, in my opinion, to at least three, four or five soul. So with those two bullish narratives behind this NFT collection, I'm looking for an easy 2x. At a price of 1.85 Solana just to get a whitelist for this NFT collection, I feel like it's a fair price. I think it's going to drop a little bit further to 1.5. And at that price point of 1.5 Solana, I'll grab two or three of these. And then when it mints out, I'll look for a flip of around four, five, or even six Solana. So for Orbits, that's the next product that I want to talk about. Orbits artwork is looking amazing. Very rarely do I get pumped when I look at art from these NFT collections. But the second I saw Orbits, I definitely loved what I'm seeing. Looking at their Discord announcements, a big milestone for them was reaching 10,000 followers in just four days of opening their Discord, which is something you definitely don't see a lot of. They're also using the Blocksmith Labs Mercury whitelist roll. Now, they did change their supply from 6,666 to 5,000. Now, I don't know if that's because the market's bearish and they're worried that maybe their full supply might not get minted out. So definitely something to keep in mind of. And looking at their mint day, it looks like it's going to be minted at October 3rd to October 10th. So roughly a week or two weeks away. So when it comes down to the art, it has vibes like, like fruits. These products that went up to floor prices at around 10, 14, 15 Solana. I'm feeling like this product, although it might not surpass 10 Solana, 
I feel like it's going to have a similar hype behind it. People are going to rock it as a profile picture. It's definitely memeable, has great cartoon work, simple but yet effective, things that resonate with Solana artists and Solana Twitter individuals. Now, looking at the roadmap, reading it through each one of these phases, there wasn't anything here that really stood out to me, to be quite honest with you. So that's probably the most bearish part about this is that the utility and the uniqueness behind this NFT collection, there's not much of. But I'm not riding this project because of the utility. I'm riding it because of the profile picked effect. I'm riding it because of the artwork. I'm riding it because of what we saw in Fruits, what we saw in the Bloomsville NFT collection, things that were very similar to the same artwork. That's what I'm going with. That's my narrative. And because of that, even though we don't know the mint price for this NFT collection, I can see a lot of hype behind it to at least reaching a five, six, or seven Solana floor. Now, the next collection I want to talk about is something that we've talked about on this show before. Now, the reason why I'm bringing it up is because we're only five weeks away. And as we get closer to that mint date, that's going to be on November 3rd. As we come closer to that, whitelist opportunities are going out. Giveaways are going out. All these moments to set yourself up for a successful mint opportunity are happening right now. So it's important that we talk about what's going to be going on and what I'm so bullish on that's going to happen November 3rd. And that's going to be your Digits Agents Mint. And if you haven't heard my spiel about it already, I mean, we're, t we're talking about some of the best minds behind an NFT gaming ecosystem, an NFT gaming launchpad NFT collection. The guys that have been building nonstop in this bear market, they finally got publicity from the Magic Eden launchpad where they're going to be minting on November 3rd. Now, as you know, I invest in the team and the founders behind these NFT collections first. That's my main metric. And you can't find a better lineup when it comes down to calling digits and the team that he has creating an ecosystem that's going to thrive that's centered around crypto gaming and crypto gaming launch pads. If you're bullish on crypto gaming, if you're bullish on crypto launch pads, if you think that bull run that we saw before is going to happen again, and crypto gaming and the metaverse is going to see a large chunk of that liquidity. If you think that's going to happen, then you want to set yourself up for these NFT collections that are centered around that. So definitely check out the Discord. Check out the Twitter. Go on the website. Get yourself informed so you're set up for that November 3rd mint date. So let's recap real quickly. We got Creature Chronicles that mint, that's minting out October 2nd. You got Orbits that's going to be minting October 3rd to October 7th. And then you got the Digits Agents on November 3rd. Three collections where I'm getting myself set up for that mint date for all the reasons that we just talked about. Obviously, none of this is ever financial advice. Do your own research. Check out the Twitters, the Discords, the full nine. Thank you all so much for watching and take care.